Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Inside Islanders powered by Stake News. In this episode, we'll be talking about our unbeaten December. Three games played, three games won. It's been fantastic. We also talk about the fact that we are one victory away from getting the longest winning streak in Hero ISL history. Plus, we look forward to the next month where we have mouth-watering clashes with two of our biggest rivals, Kerala Blasters and ATK Mohan Bagan. What's going to happen there? We also asked the coach what his take news moment of the month was for December. So let's check it out. All right, Des, great, uh, great to see you again. Lovely to have you here. Thank you um, for coming. Let's start off with the fact that we have gone yet another month undefeated. We've had an undefeated December. We are at the halfway mark of the season. What have you changed in the team's uh, uh, style that has enabled this level of performance? I wouldn't say changed, I'd say added to. Um, I spoke at length around the support from the club um, and this is something that started 15 months ago. You know, we come in and we, we have a way we want to play. We were limited last year with being able to do that and sometimes it takes some time for players to understand and to learn. And uh, I think it took sort of six or seven months for us to find our feet in that. And I think the early signs of that were Champions League, then the Durant Cup, and of course there's every game I think we've got better in the, in the uh, ISL season. Now, we're one win away from being on level with the longest winning streak in Hero ISL history. Does that add a little more pressure to you and the team? I wasn't even aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, it makes no difference to me. Uh, I, I keep speaking about we want to get better every game. There's, there's a lot more that we need to do and we, we will keep working to try and get as, as good as we can be. Uh, but uh, no, it's very much just game to game as it has been from the start of the season. So now to wrap up December, what in your opinion was your stake news moment of the month? Probably two things. One would be the Olympiad and the continuation of what has now become a tradition at this club. Um, I think the way it's organised, the events themselves, I think it helps bring people together and it's very exciting for both the staff and the players to compete against each other and, and see, see different sides to people across a couple of events. And the second would be the, uh, the Christmas day we spent together. Uh, we keep talking about what kind of a family the Mumbai City family is and to get all of the players, um, all of the staff, all of the families and not just staff and players from here but staff from across the club and bring people together which is the first time I think we've been able to do that in three or four years and to share that with each other that was very special. Awesome. Now let's look forward to January completely different as compared to December because we have five matches in January it's a packed schedule how will the preparations differ to, to, to cope with uh, the packed schedule? We won't change our approach to any of those five games regardless of the turnaround in times. The one thing that of course uh, but it's going to be uh, important that we manage players and we manage the uh, selections and then it's important for the players to prepare as well as they can to make sure for each of those five games we're as well prepared as possible. Right, now two of those five games are against uh, uh, our biggest rivals Kerala Blasters and ATK Mohan Bagan. Uh, they're third and fourth in the league respectively so big games, big games for the fans, big games for the club as well. Uh, what are your approaches to both those games going to be like? The same as they are for when we play any other team in this league. I think people keep talking about rivalries and big games. You get three points um, regardless of the team you play if you win a game. So it doesn't matter whether it's uh, like the two teams you've just mentioned or, or not. We will approach them in the same manner we do everyone, which is full respect to the team. But again, we can't look too far forwards. We have to look at the next game of this year and trying to prepare ourselves to come away from there with, with more points to put ourselves in a stronger position 